and welcome to Trust in God at All Times, a daily devotion of Peakland United Methodist Church in Lynchburg, Virginia. My name is John Vest, and I'm the pastor of the church. What's, what's the most practical advice you've heard? Never make the first offer in a negotiation? Measure twice, cut once? A penny saved is a penny earned. How about it's best to remain silent and let everyone think you're a fool, then open your mouth and relieve them of any doubt? I asked the church staff that question, and this is what I got. Robert's advice was to always keep up the good work. The advice Linwood ever received was, be responsible for what you're responsible for and give the rest back to God. Pastor David, he looks at a situation and asks, does it glorify God and help build God's kingdom? David also admits when he was starting out and he would get up to preach, his father would lean over and advise, don't embarrass me, son. Cindy, Cindy acknowledges that life is hard at times, but her advice is to always remember how God loves you and wait for that love to reveal itself Waiting is the hardest. Kim's grandmother, she liked to remind Kim that not everyone was raised like you. And Kim also holds on to the truth that God gave you a fingerprint no one else has, so you can leave an impression no one else can. Noemi, a pianist, wisely accepts that emotions are not always a true reflection of reality. So it's important to live a pondering life and to search people's hearts with the eyes of Jesus. For me, the best advice I ever received as a church leader was to simply be the leader I always wanted to be led by. I think it's important to have some words to live by, don't you? Spontaneity is good. In fact, spontaneous acts of kindness and caring really make life worth living at times. But We all need a code of some sort. We all need something that sustains us regardless of what a day may bring. The poet Maya Angelou once said, every storm runs out of rain, which is true. And sometimes in life, it is only the assurance that the storms of life will pass, that we find the strength to hold on, the the power to persevere. If you have ever worked on an automobile, if you've ever tried to fix a lawnmower, you know that every 20-minute job is just one broken bolt away from becoming an all-day ordeal. So, here are some words from the Bible to live by. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. To everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. God, God so loved the world that he gave. And come to me, Jesus said, I will give you rest. In everything, God works for good. And finally, who shall separate us from the love of God? Show tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? No. If you have a code, if you have a good word of advice today, a word that you would share with someone you really care about, say it out loud and encourage yourself to live by that word today. Seek out a way to put it into practice. Who knows? Who knows how God might use you and that word today? So, let it be. Amen. Amen.